inner oracle. She's a seer, she's a witch, she's a medium. And today we're going to talk about seeing spirits and seeing ghosts and um because i know a lot of people out there are usually scared of the subject and they're terrified and uh today we're gonna just state our opinion about what we think and uh, our experiences with uh, the unseen the things that you don't see so just to give a, maybe a little introduction to everyone about what ghosts are and what spirits are because everyone is so scared of them and so they they think it's it's um it's a terrifying thing when they hear about ghosts what is um what are ghosts so what are these entities that some people are able to see who who are they and what what do they want so usually what we see normal people it's usually the souls uh, of people who passed away and they still stuck here mm -hmm. usually for reasons and uh, nothing to be scared of basically it's yeah humans still yeah in a sense uh, there is a lot of more a lot more you can see and sense but usually when it's scared of something it's just normal souls and these and these people. these spirits are usually of people but they could be from something else like animals or they could be also spirits of um, of some entities that we we, we can recognize right mm -hmm. so not all of them are human in a sense usually the most common spirits that yeah. we scared of are humans oh. humans who passed away oh wow because it's it's kind of gift to see even to see them or sense them so it's all about the gift that people have so for example you i know you gifted so you can see humans you can see animals you can sense other spirits some other spirits demons that, yeah. uh, angels yeah some scary stuff that yeah. i can't explain other deities gods. yeah yeah like yeah, yeah like creations yeah, yeah it's, other it's gods like and yeah like, aliens whatever is there uh but it's all limited to a person what you can see it's who you are what you give that so your ability to see so there is more than just normal spirits way more but not everyone can see that or sense that or evoke that invoke that yeah so basically people scare just of normal humans who passed away i know and it's like uh, this is just to tell everyone out, out to, to tell everyone out there there's nothing to be scared of like uh back where i used to live i had some uh spirits living there some some more ghosts if you will and uh uh, when she visited me, she visited me once. The first time, uh, she was able to talk to them, <laughs> and uh, and they were giving away so much information about me, private information that I never told anyone. And uh, they were they were telling her all of these private things about me because they were bored. Like he never <laughs> talked to them, of course. <laughs> and, and that's another thing that probably a lot of people don't know is that you probably have you sense these spirits or entities with you in your place and uh they're probably talking to you but you just don't hear them mm -hmm. but they're for me i didn't i wasn't ignore, ignoring mine on on purpose but i just couldn't i couldn't hear them mm -hmm. i couldn't hear what they were telling me so but uh, if it seems like they were bored and they just wanted to kind of uh have connect, a little connect. Yeah, yeah yeah have fun have fun mm -hmm. and yeah so basically for the spirits, uh, for souls who passed away and they stuck here somehow in our realms, um, it's basically they trying to give a message or connect to someone. The way they see us, the way they see people who can see them, it's their work is very dark and mediums or psychics or even people who can sense, they see them as light. So the moment they see you or you or me, they know. Like you can, they, you can hear them or see them or understand them. So for uh, them, it doesn't make any sense. Like they talk to you, why you don't answer? I see. So the more they connect to you, the more they start being like physical. Like you start seeing more, hearing more. They can touch you. Yeah. They can touch me. They can touch a lot of other people. They're the poltergeist. Like when they shaking things or like dropping forks or knives or anything in your apartment, it's when they know you can sense them and they became angry or upset like why why don't you answer yeah, so, because they're trying to communicate with the person yeah but but yet there's no answer it's like oh you're ignoring me so mm -hmm. i'm gonna 
uh, dro gonna drop stuff. a fork <laughs> or I'm yeah. gonna mess with your phone or I'm mm -hmm. gonna <laughs> like it happened to me before and I was playing my Spotify I remember <laughs> and I think I was playing a song that they didn't like because <laughs> she used to tell me that I used to play a lot of sad songs <laughs> back nice in the song. day oh my God. <laughs> and then apparently they hated these sad songs so these <laughs> yeah and, and once in my Spotify I was gonna play the next song on my phone screen was just going crazy it just started going like and i knew it was done i knew i knew it was there like it, i've never seen my phone do something like that before so it's just because they were hating these sad songs they wanted some they wanted some some upbeat music you know <laughs> they wanted to to party <laughs> but that's the thing like you a lot of people don't think of ghosts as as entities who who have desires or who have uh, you know like who have a will to connect or to talk more because a lot of people don't have any knowledge about about these these entities we we fear the unknown we fear what we can't see so uh, but what what can you say for people who just sense them but, and they know there's something there, but they can't see them. Or for people who can see them and are terrified and they're so scared. What, what, what can you say to people like that? So usually people who sense something abnormal and then terrified, it means those are the people with gifts, people like us. Yeah. So it means they can connect and then can see if they want to work on the gift they can become psychics or mediums or oh. they can switch it on and off easily. Uh, they can choose if they want to see or they don't want to see them. But those people usually don't know that. They don't know that they're gifted. That's why they're scared. But huh. they feel them, even without working on the gift, they feel them so strongly. So if you're scared, just acknowledge the present, uh, the presence and just let them know that you're scared, you're uncomfortable and ask them to leave. Usually it works 100%. Yeah. And not it, work for you. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's something actually, it's interesting how it's very simple. We're always so scared of these ghosts and these entities but to if you don't want them in your space it's very easy you just ask them to leave just like just like when you're talking to a person and they're bothering you and you tell them hey fuck off leave me alone same thing like i tried it uh in the beginning when i started seeing these these things especially the scary ones i was terrified i was so scared and i didn't know how to handle it but i think it comes with experience and i realized the solution was simple you just ask them to leave it's like hey please you're bothering me right now i don't want you in my space leave and it works and they leave mm -hmm. uh, it's very easy but your mind has to be sharp you has to be you have to have a strong mind because there are some persistent ones especially the scary ones not to scare any one of you there are some per persistent ones and uh, for me they show up in uh, my uh, per uh, sleep paralysis experiences i've had so many sleep paralysis uh, experiences and scary ones too but i can get rid of that stuff just like that but you have to you have your mind has to be very sharp mm -hmm. to be able to uh you you firmly tell them to leave and it's like you're not joking you just i need you to leave right now and that's it you know mm -hmm. uh, but uh if i feel like if they sense that you're scared if, or if they sense that you're not confident and especially the ones who don't like you <laughs> you know they, they might they might persist or try to play games with you so you have to show them that you're the boss you know because if you're scared and you're trying to get rid of them so they know oh yeah he's actually answering or she's answering yeah, me yeah Yay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and then, yeah. yeah then the fun starts <laughs> yeah so basically just treat them as a normal person as a normal human being just like yeah make them leave and uh you know how a lot of people say, you know, gifted people or people who have gifts and, that, and they say that all, all of us can see them. But I want you to actually clarify this, how not everyone is able to see these mm -hmm. spirits. It's really, it's case by case, it's person, it depends on the person. Um, it's like, you know, usually in the spiritual community, people say, oh, everyone has, uh, you know, everyone can see this, everyone can see auras, everyone can see whatever stuff like that you just have to work on it but is it something that you can actually 
that anyone can work on and develop or you have to have it as a gift first before you can work on it? Honestly, anyone has the ability to see anything. We, oh, really? We, all we can, we can awaken ourselves and work on it and at some point become stronger and more powerful and get to see things. Mm -hmm. uh, just for people who born normal without gifts, it's going to be way, way, way harder. harder and they, they're going to reach some kind of level or point and mm -hmm. they cannot go any further. But still they can, they can see something. Like yeah. They can work on their skill, they can become like amazing tarot readers, astrologers. Uh, basically, they can do a lot of things if they just yeah. work on it. Uh, it's way, way, way easier for people who are actually born with gifts. Uh, it's very easy, again, to find out if you have a gift. For me, the easiest way is actually like do a palm reading. We all have the marks and signs or arm palms yeah. uh, for the gifts. Uh, cool. If it's the gifts that we acquired ourselves or we born with it, so it's all in the palms. And if you have a gift, then you know what kind of gift, so you can work on this gift. And it's very easy, there is a lot of ways to actually enhance your gift or tap into your gift. It's yeah. basically very easy ways. Yeah, yeah, and uh, she's actually an amazing tarot reader and a palm reader as well. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's like even with, with strangers or with people, she, she's, she has the ability to see through you just by looking at your palms and she can tell you things about your life that you've never told anyone um, and uh, she's she's done that with a lot of her clients and uh, and and it's mind-blowing uh, I, I she's done that with me as well and uh, it, I, I feel like this kind of gift is you know like when someone who's so talented at drawing for example and they're born with it they're born and since a young age they just know how to draw so well versus someone who has to learn how to draw from scratch right it's mm -hmm. it's probably something like that but then again you can be born with a gift never use it never work on it and with time it just fades away and oh, there's a lot of people who are not gifted whatsoever but they so desperately want to have it those people become actually great yeah because, because yeah because they work on they it. work they, on it yeah, yeah they spend so much time and practice every day and yeah. they become amazing yeah so it's actually not even about having a gift or not but it's way 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 easier for gifted people yeah who born with the gifts to do something but again your gift could be for example healing like you're a healer mm -hmm. i'm a healer but we don't use it we don't yeah work on we it. don't yeah yeah we we uh we can heal ourselves if we want to just like that we have that ability and we know how to do it and i've healed myself so many times uh, and uh, from from a lot of things where I didn't need to go see a doctor or pills or anything, but then we don't use it. We're not. Yeah. We don't label ourselves as healers. You choose. Yeah, you, you have to choose yeah. what to work on. You choose what you want to do. Yeah, because I feel like we always fear the unknown, and the more knowledge is power, the more we educate ourselves about whatever it is that we're scared of, the better we can approach it and we can understand it, and it becomes part of our lives. So if you have something you're so curious about, like an ability you think you can see ghosts or you think you can heal or you think you can uh, be, uh, you, you think you're a psychic and you don't know how to approach it, it's always good to um, to to just go to uh, go to someone that can help you with that, right? Mm -hmm. Go to either a reader or a healer or someone, but be careful because there's a lot of fake people out there who claim they can heal you, people who claim that they can uh help you see things but they actually themselves can't see anything so just there's a lot of them out there and you're with your clients i mean y you have a lot of people who come and ask you for uh, for guidance using either tarot or palm reading and i'd say probably the gifted people you encounter are are the rarest ones right mm -hmm. and most of the people out there who are who think they're they come to you and they tell you oh i think i'm this i think i'm this mm -hmm. but they're not <laughs> and it's usually the, the the random people once in a while who are actually gifted and who can right so it's usually it's like this uh, a lot of people during their life uh they feel they're different they don't belong they feel there's something more uh a lot of people who are running away from church religion no yeah. like normal spirituality and they yeah and those are the people who usually gifted because uh they feel there's something wrong with them they cannot fit them and sometimes they can fit in their families so those are the people usually yeah okay. as a gift yeah oh. like uh, 
a lot of people also gifted people they know the gift because they've been brought up in families who practice magic or any type of occult and yeah. so they know as well uh, I think the most important part is, is actually to know yourself oh yeah for sure knowing <laughs> yeah. thyself it's the most important <laughs> so for me yeah, my uh, favorite phrase yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so if you know who you are then you can find the peace and work and decide if you want to work on yourself or you just want to drop it and be normal try to be normal yeah uh, it's uh, so for me the only reading you should get if you don't know yourself if you actually from normal family it's actually the reading about yourself yeah uh, it's like either tarot astrology palm readings any something type that of can read. help you yeah not like healing per se but like reading of you like who you are you, yeah so try to find reader who can tell you who you are yeah. and then make a choice and uh, i was thinking about this while you were talking about uh, uh like uh, spirits and ghosts about uh, i have a question about invoking them mm -hmm. and the people who are obsessed with mm -hmm. rituals about invoking spirits and the dark ones the good ones the bad ones voodoo what, what, what do you what do you have to say about that for because i know there's a lot of people who are obsessed with invoking spirits mm -hmm. uh what do you what do you say to those people what's what's your uh well they are different people out there so there is actually a lot of real people like real magicians and witches who actually can invoke evoke real spirits evil or good ones for yeah. help for protection for hexing and those are the real ones those, those, are, the real those ones. are the real deals they do exist yeah. uh, i have clients like that uh, so it's possible actually actually anyone can try to do it uh, i know a lot of people do it just for fun i actually encourage sometimes people to do rituals for fun but not invoking or invoking spirits don't do something like that if you don't yeah. know how to or what you actually yeah don't, don't mess with it. into your life yeah don't mess around <laughs> yeah don't mess with the uh, with stuff you're not sure you know the things you you know you're gonna end up invoking uh, satan himself mr satan <laughs> <laughs> So, so don't don't mess around if you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> but witchcraft now it's so trendy, it's so much fun. Everyone do it for fun. So for fun, you can do a lot of rituals, like even uh, love potions, love spells, uh, protection, whatever it is. It's basically for fun. It's actually something interesting. If you put your intentions there, you can actually do a lot of good things. Yeah. Uh, because it's basically it's manifestation it's the power of your mind mm -hmm. you're feeling to create something in your life something positive something amazing so i would highly recommend to do yeah. rituals because it's fun and uh it's just it's also a tool because I, I call them tools yeah. rituals are just a tools that can uh, like put more energy uh, that can help you put more energy into the things you want to manifest mm -hmm. For example, when it comes to spirits and if you're scared, you can actually create something like protective amulet or yeah. protective protection spell, protection, like sigil. So you can like you can use your pendant, you can use your ring, any piece of jewelry, yeah. a crystal, anything, and create some kind of tiny ritual for protection and mm -hmm. put your power, your energy into this piece, into this object and keep it with you. Like for example, at night when you feel that this is the scariest time, and always have it with you and use it for protection. For protection, yeah. yeah. It's like using crystals. It's yeah. it's a tool that can just help you. But it's at the end of the day, as I tell everyone in my other videos, uh, it's all in your mind. Yeah, it's you all the power. Tools. Actually, you don't actually need tools, but they help. Mm -hmm. If they help, use them. But it's actually your mind. Yeah, that's but where start I'll... using your mind. It yeah. comes with time, with practice. With pra yeah. Because it's the hardest part. Exactly. You actually believe that you don't need anything. Yeah. Just you you're the tool for everything yeah it's even for example when i do my reading so if it's, uh, like you it's gonna be your first reading ever you're gonna come to me and i'm gonna sit in front of you and i'm gonna tell you your life and you like for you that's gonna be crazy so when i use my tarot yeah. at least there is a peace of mind oh it's, it's the tarot, tarot saying me my future <laughs> it's not like yeah. random person yeah so the shock <laughs> I just met, yeah. you reduce the shock <laughs> yeah <laughs> Because it, it's true, because she can basically just look at you and tell you who you are, but, and it is shocking, trust me, but, uh, but I guess with tarot, this beautiful tarot that you've been using for, uh, for a while. <laughs>
<laughs> and it was flooded too. <laughs> I was actually shifted realities because I remember this reality when we met. I remember her telling me that this tarot deck that she used, uh, it was in a basement and it flooded. That basement flooded. And I remember the cards, half of the cards were all wet and they dried up. And uh, she was telling me the story. And guess what, guys? Turned out she told me she never told me that story. Never. And this deck was never flooded by any water. And I remember that story just like if it was yesterday. And we were talking that, about it and it's probably like, I feel like I shifted realities at some point. Either she shifted realities or I shifted realities. And it's probably me because you don't remember. I mean, I remember the cars being wet, like half of them no, being nothing, flooded. Nothing happened to my deck, no. What's the bottom of the deck? <laughs> Oh, you favorite justice. <laughs> oh. Yeah, justice is dark. <laughs> I love justice. It's dark. Are we gonna pull some cards for the people? All right, let's do this. You gonna choose? I can, yeah, I can choose. Card of the day. Card of the day. Any day. Any day. Because time is illusion. Time is an illusion. I shifted realities. Time doesn't exist. <laughs> That's actually another uh, gift of seeing. You can shift realities. You can see not even like future and past. You can see alternative outcomes, see, alternative yeah. realities. So, cool gift yeah. to have. <laughs> <laughs> I just need to work on it. I feel like I'm at a point right now where I still, I have to, I have to care a little bit more. <laughs> I kind of don't care. <laughs> but I, I just. I just do me and I know, I know, I know I'm creating my reality and that's what matters it's to you me. You guys, right? those people who born with gifts and don't use the gifts, like the worst. <laughs> and then like poor people who actually work hard every day without gifts and trying to achieve this level. So something. No, no, it's just, it, it's just, you know, it's just when you know that you're creating everything in your life, then it's like the rest is kind of irrelevant that's know? why i don't like justice <laughs> okay so pull the card for guys all card right the, the card of the day is oh major arcana resurrection resurrection so, so it means if you found this video and i pulled this card for you so it's new life for you out there if you apply what you hear, if you try to know who you are, so you can be reborn again, please wrap it. Nice, I love that. Last judgment. I love it, I love it. Resurrection. So, you always have a, a new chance, you always have a new beginning. Take full advantage of it and make it your own thing and go far with it. 20, the number? Number numerology. Number 20. Yeah, 20 numerology, so that's 20, that's 2 plus 0, 2. I see the number 2 so uh, often all around the place. And it, it does represent new beginnings. 2 represents the start of a new phase. Um, and it's accurate. I always say the cards don't lie. So it is, it is, it is on point. <laughs> <laughs> new beginnings. All right, I guess this is a wrap up for today's video. And uh, this was cool. And then we'll do other casual conversations about different subjects in other videos. Bye, guys.